Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how to make kefir cheese. Anybody who makes their own kefir milk will know how quickly and easy it is to get completely overwhelmed with your kefir milk if you're not drinking it every day. And that's what's happened to me this week. I haven't been drinking my kefir milk. And so I've got all these bottles and I'm going to make some cheese. It's easy to do. It doesn't require any special ingredients like a lot of cheese making where you need rennet and special cultures and special equipment. This is very easy to do. You don't need any special ingredients or special equipment. And uh, you end up with a nice, soft, spreadable, tangy cheese. Um, so without further ado, I'll show you how to do that. And in 24 hours, we'll have a nice cheese to use for lunch. So all you're gonna need to make your kefir cheese is a nice big bowl. You do need a big one. Uh, you need a cheesecloth, or if you haven't got a cheesecloth, you can use a tea towel or maybe an old pillowcase or something like that. And um, just something, what, you're gonna, what we're gonna be doing is pouring the kefir milk into this cheesecloth and it's gonna drain the whey from the curds. Uh, so that's all that that's for. So it just needs to be, you know, a reasonably close mesh. Please excuse my cheesecloth, it isn't dirty, it's very clean, but it's been stained with years of use from blackberries and elderberries and things like that. So all I'm gonna do is pop this cheesecloth into this bowl. You also need some string or something to tie the cheesecloth with. And then I'm gonna just start pouring my kefir milk into this, just this simply. So now that the kefir is in the bowl, the next thing we need to do is just tie this cheesecloth up so it's as if it's in a bag, which is a little bit fiddly. So it's a double layer I've got here. So there you are, you see we have our kefir in a little muslin bag there. You can already hear it draining off. Just gonna tie the top up here. that and the next thing I'm going to do is hang this from wherever it's convenient so if you've got um, wall cupboards in your kitchen it's ideal just to hang it from one of the handles in your wall cupboard and you can have your, ben your, your bowl underneath sitting on the bench we don't have any wall cupboards so I'm going to take you across to the other side of the kitchen and I'll show you where we hang it so this is just our French dresser and I've just got these little drawers, little drawers with little handles here. I'm just going to tie that onto that little handle there to suspend it. That's basically it. That's us started making our kefir cheese. That is gonna hang there now. It's gonna drip into this bowl for the next 24 hours. Um, leave it alone, you don't need to do anything to it. Just keep an eye on how much um, whey drips into this bowl because a lot comes off and you might wanna empty it, but don't throw your whey away. I'll, keep, I'll talk about that afterwards. And then tomorrow I will show you what we do with the curds that we've got left to make your kefir cheese. Here we are 24 hours later. I've taken the bag of kefir milk down and I've poured off the whey. That's how much whey um, we've gotten off that uh, kefir milk. So that's like half a litre, quite a lot as you can see. And we'll just open up this muslin bag now and see what's inside. That's the string. Okay, and there we go. 
you open that up, you can see that's all the kefir curds that are left over. Now I'm going to transfer those over into a bowl and mix our seasonings in. You can just scrape the curds off the cheesecloth so that you don't lose any. A nice crumbly cheese. Now as for your seasonings for your kefir you can do anything you want really in the past I've used garlic to season it you're always going to want some salt in there and uh, you could put some chili flakes <clears throat> anything that you fancy you can put in there today I'm keeping it simple <clears throat> I'm just adding some salt some pepper and I went up with the allotment yesterday and cut some chives, so we're going to put some chives in there as well. So you're just going to season these to taste, really, a bit of salt. Don't put too much in, you can always add more later. Bit of pepper. And the chives. And I'm just going to stir it up. So as well as your cheese, you've also got this whey left over. As I say, you get quite a lot off. That's half a litre there. Um, you don't want to throw that away. It can be really useful in the kitchen. It's also really good for you. Uh, full of protein and it's full of probiotics and good bacteria for your gut. Um, so if you if you keep it raw, if you cook it in anything, obviously those qualities disappear. Not the protein, but the, the probiotics. Uh, you can use it in smoothies. If you want to put a slug in some smoothies, it will add to the nutritional um, element of that. Or you can just use it in um, bread making if you want to replace your water with this whey. And actually it gives it quite a tangy um, sourdough kind of taste. You could use it in cakes for the liquid there as well. Uh, so yeah, don't throw it away. You can use it, it's, it would be such a waste. But... That is basically it. So I'm just gonna pop this into this container now and then it'll go into the fridge to chill down. And you've got yourself some lovely spready cheese. the finished product that's going to be a nice tangy cheese i hope i've been able to show you this morning how easy it is to make your own cheese uh, very easy 24 hours and there you are it's done i hope you enjoyed the video and we will catch you on the next one bye for now